passions, uh, first and foremost, obviously, you know, um, my passion is to see a, a stable economy in Zimbabwe that is conducive for, for those that are enterprising, in particular where gender is concerned, where obviously opportunities are availed to everyone, and uh, the youths, the women, and everyone else, so that uh, we have got a sustainable and social economic development uh, for Zimbabwe. Uh, women also uh, that I work with, that I inculcated in, in, in their belief that they can do this job, was also something that I had to work on. I had to deliberately and very consciously make every effort to make the women believe that they are equally good security practitioners. Yes, I took it upon myself to train them, to coach them, to mentor them, to a level where the ones that came in a, a while when we started a while back, they are now high-flying security practitioners at uh, every level of the of, of the corporate ladder, at officer, at management, at director, at board level. So yes, it is that uh, conscious and deliberate efforts that we put in as a business that uh, women uh, are equally good in this in this uh, industry. For me, I always say this: uh, the the magic for me uh, is is two things: it's my attitude, my attitude to persevere. My attitude, which is to do with my perseverance, my self-belief, my, my focus, uh, my can't-be-beaten attitude, and secondly, is the hard work. If you combine those two, that attitude and the hard work, you are certainly bound to be successful. There's nothing that beats that. Now that uh, women have really proven themselves in every sector that you can think of, the opportunities they've been put to bear as it as it were such that uh, the market is really looking for women that can deliver on anything in fact the market knows women can deliver it's just not we, example for the women it's just not for the youth it's just for everyone else because i want to believe i've inspired even the men themselves so it puts you in a position where you want to continue on the right track it puts you on a position where you want to walk on the straight and narrow path so that uh, you cannot be found wanting. Uh, it puts you in a position where your integrity, your honesty, your uh, should be really at the 101%. Because you are a role model. Being a role model, you cannot afford to falter. And you don't want to fall from grace. No one wants to fall from grace. So obviously, it's put, it, it puts me in a position where I have got to continue doing the best and being the best that I, that I can ever be. I actually look up to many women that uh, have our forebearers that have been before us, that obviously have fought the revolution of the uh, emancipation of women. You know, we, 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 we are in the middle rank of fighting for, for, for the so-called uh, gender equality. But uh, there are women uh, in the 60s, uh, our grandmothers, in particular our mothers, the generation of our mothers. Uh, they are the ones that really started getting in the economic activity and we learned quite a lot from, from them. I think uh, is Zimbabwe as a country in this region and even in Africa is one of the most peaceful and very secure places. Our statistics in terms of crime is very low and uh, even uh, accounting of uh, crime perpetrators, yeah, uh, I think we've got one of the best records of uh, people being accounted for, in particular for, for violent crime. So this country is very peaceful uh, and any tourist can feel very secure and can go about their business peacefully in, 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 at any time of the day.